between your hands and your shoulders. So you're going to come back into um, walking your knees forward. If you can't get your hands flat before you've gone anywhere, uh, which is quite common, don't worry about it, you're going to take your right hand and you're going to put it directly on top of your left hand and you're going to kind of smush, technical term, you're going you're gonna to press especially the thumb and the palm of the hand down and then you're going to walk back and you're not going to force yourself back you're still going slow because what doing that will reveal is where the tension is between your thumb and your shoulder it can be in your biceps it can be in your forearm it can be in your wrist it can be in your deltoid there's not any one place that it is and the good news is if you do this regularly all this goes away <laughs> How's it so going? It should hurt in the place that's tight. Well, it, where you tend to feel it the most. Now you want to watch this. So this exercise is like this. My elbows are the width of my shoulders. My wrists are the width of my shoulders. You don't want to bring the arm in and do it here. Because now I'm not really working my shoulder. I'm working it across. So stay wide. Hold your hand down and go back so that the arm stays in its channel. So move your elbow out a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. So now it's in line. We keep that in line. You also, the tendency on this one is to back up on a diagonal. You need to still back up straight. So that's straight here. Good. You feel that in your arm and shoulder? Wrists. And then eventually you'll be able to go back keeping your thumbs down. That's the next week. <laughs> uh, it took me like a year. Okay, that's next year. Just to, just to give you a sense of planning. I would actually appreciate it. And for, yeah, it's a year, and for me it was really all up here. Like what was pulling my thumb up was way in my deltoid. It's not necessarily where you think it is. Right. But it took me, I mean, it took me a year of doing it, like probably only like once a day. Um, so it's not even that much. It's not like I was right. having to do it 45 minutes a day. Just whenever I think about it, Whenever I think about it, I do the thoracic stretch, and I do the palm up version, and I put my hand down just a couple times throughout the day, and then try the other side. Still manage your ribs if you can. And it's not in the same place for my right and left side. So those are your wrist care moves. So you have three or four things.